Well, you might as well go ahead and get used to hearing that sound because swarms of cicadas are nearly ready to come out of hiding. The cicadas already know that it's the year that they're supposed to be emerging. We can tell because they start digging these exit tunnels um, that we call chimneys. Uh, and you can actually see these little holes in your garden sometimes. The cicadas will stick their head out and be like, is it time yet? Is it time? Mm, not quite. So they'll go back down and wait for a bit. Dr. Samuel Ramsey with the U.S. Department of Agriculture says the cicadas need the ground to be around 64 degrees. It's hard to predict an exact day, but he believes they'll come out around mid-May. Can you talk to me about the impact that cicadas may have on lawns, trees, or gardens for people? Of course, and I'm glad that people are thinking about this in advance. He says folks don't need to worry about cicadas munching on plants and vegetables or ruining their gardens. But if you have new small trees or young wooded plants, you may want to watch out. And these cicadas have been in isolation for 17 years. All they want to do now is mate and have babies. So they get up in those trees, they party, and then when the females have actually mated, they'll cut these scars into the sides of the branches of trees and they'll lay their eggs inside. And it's these scars that can cause the entire branch to die back. Those tiny cuts could cause branches to go bad and die. It's a bigger deal for small trees, but larger ones should be okay. Dr. Ramsey says the best thing you can do is to buy netting to wrap around those small trees and wooded plants before the cicadas come out. But he says you really have nothing major to worry about. In Washington, Michael Quander, WUSA 9.